Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We also given it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, October, November, December, 2020 edition. Today is Friday, October 30th. We read from 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive opinions. They will even deny the master who bought them, bringing self swift destruction on themselves. Even so, many will follow their licentious ways. And because of these teachers, the way of the truth will be maligned. And in their greed, they will exploit you with deceptive words. Their condemnation pronounced against them long ago has not been idle, and their destruction is not asleep. Happy Friday, October 30th. Ah, for the good old days. I hear this refrain a lot in the church today. People yearn for the glory days, when pews were full, Sunday schools were booming, and churches were the center of social life. At the same time, I hear bleak predictions about the future of the church. It is true that the church is changing, but it is not true that the best days of the church lie behind us. The kingdom of God, revealed fully in Christ's life, death, and resurrection, is with us today and will be with us tomorrow as well just as it was in the past. The false prophets, Second Peter condemns, were questioning whether Christ would really return. Where is the promise of his coming? In response, the writer of this letter points our eyes forward. The promise can be trusted, he assures his faith community. Christ will come again. We too need to trust that God is at work today and has prepared a future for us. It may not be anything like we expect. It may be better. Oh God, through your spirit, help us trust you to lead us into our future. In Jesus' name, amen.